What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the next episode of Hitman Contracts. It's now time to play mission number five, titled Rendezvous in Rotterdam. Incidentally, though, it's actually not a remake of either of the Rotterdam missions from Codename 47. It's loosely based off of them because the biker gang from Gunrunner's Paradise is in it, but it's otherwise an original mission. We will be getting a remake of, of the original game's Rotterdam missions, but not at the moment. À la tienne, mon vieux. All right, more stuff going on in the story. More flashbacks. Fucking asshole. Getting tired of this place. My targets have been right in front of me for days, but my weapons still haven't arrived. I'll have to move in tonight, without them. We need you in Rotterdam, 47. Primary target is Rutgert van Leufen. He is the head of an international crime group that's auctioning off some photographs on the black market. Our client would prefer these photographs to remain unseen. The group works through a biker gang that Van Leufen's president of. Our client already sent a man in, a freelancer named Claes Teller. But Teller has either failed or turned. Our client sees him as a risk either way. Take him out. Van Leufen's got a meeting lined up with a journalist who wants the pictures for his tabloid. That may give you the cover you need. Get the photos, hit the targets, and we'll be in touch. Okay, so similar to Biarkov Bomb, this mission gives you a a disguise. This mission gives you a one-way ticket disguise straight to where we want to go, and we will be taking advantage of it because getting that disguise is like getting the golden ticket. It'll get us right to. Um, the photographs and the first target, and then we'll have an easier time reaching the second target um, from where we got to. And I will have an alternative strategy for this one as well, but the first one I'm going to do is my preferred strategy. First thing is to drop the guns. We do not want them to be caught as we have to frisk, or we are going to get frisked, um, as we enter the compound with the aforementioned golden ticket disguise of the reporter who wants to buy the photographs. Who is right there. Very easily. Get rid of him, pick up his envelope, and take his clothes. It's very important that you pick up the envelope, because it contains the money that we're supposed to pay for the photos with. If you don't take it, the outcome is going to be very different, and things will go bad. I'm <clears> home! <throat> So, this is why we wanted to drop our guns. Okay, lock my door. You get frisked a lot in this game, and most of the time, if they find guns, they shoot you. In fact, I think there's only three times in the game where they don't. We want to talk to the bartender. The 
the boss is expecting there me. There we go. Come right here. This way. Sometimes the bartender can be a pain, but he will talk to you eventually. He will escort us to the to the office Just follow me. of the boss. Okay, our timing is a slightly off, but we should be fine. They already checked me when I came in. Do you really need to do it again? <clears throat> okay, lock my door. I should rename my channel the coughing, the coughing hitman man, because I'm always coughing. And I don't know why. It's not like I smoke or anything. Anyways, before I get off topic. Let, we will use our golden ticket disguise to get most of our objectives done in quick succession. Here we go. Let's cut to the chase. Show me the money. It's right here. Count it. <coughs> Count it. <laughs> if it's not all there, we'll find you and collect the rest with interest. All right. Now. Now, you can wait for him to open the safe in instead, but if you don't wait. Um, take the safe combination off of his corpse so that you can open it yourself. And j then you can take the photographs. So now... Okay, that guy with the AK is who we're waiting for. As soon as you see him go by, he showed up a little faster since our timing was slightly off due to the bartender being um, an ass. But regardless, as soon as he's down here, it's our cue to sneak into the basement. We need to be careful because we do not want to get caught. This is where we want to go. We can cut through this shooting range and then look through the keyhole to wait for the same guard with the AK-47 to walk by again. A cutscene might play in the process, but it's really short. It, it might not actually, because the guard that triggers it is right there, and there we go. As soon as the AK guard passes us, we can sneak into this room and upgrade our disguise as one of the bikers. And now we'll go after our second target, who is right there, being tortured on some kind of electric wall. But we're gonna have to wait until this guy is done with him. It doesn't take very long. There's a bunch of knives and stuff, you can kill him however you choose. But, I'm going to turn the power back on and do something nice. Just leave the power on and there you go. Hell, just to make things creepier, to fit this game's dark tone, I'm going to leave the power on and leave the lights flickering like that. Yeah. Now we want to get out of here and this is kind of tricky actually. Don't worry about the shooting, it's just coming from the shooting range in the basement. Get away from me. Yeah, it might not be best to go that way because that guard can be a pain sometimes, but 
it shouldn't go horrible though. Just be careful around the other bikers. They tend to be a little sensitive. Not quite as bad as the guards from the previous mission, but still a pain. So we're going to this factory building because it's the best way out of the compound. I don't know if you can go back out through the front gate unless you very carefully open the gate yourself, which is really hard to do. Ooh, I almost got into a close encounter with a another biker, but we're fine. I said the bikers are sensitive if you're disguised as one, but that's only really if you run into, run into their face or something. But we got pretty close, but we're, we're totally fine. And that takes care of the mission. All zeros on this one, which is nice. But this isn't the only way you can do it. I mean, there's literally countless ways you can do a Hitman mission since you're absolutely free to play the game however you want, but I'm the type who wants always wants a silent assassin. And for this mission, I will have another way of doing it, which I will be showing off next time.